Africa joins us now with more on how all this played out. Tony. Well, Mike and Shannon, uh, Nor'easter number four, certainly uh, very tricky from uh, beginning to end, and in the end, not producing uh, as much snow as anticipated. Uh, take a look at where we stand here. There's some sprinkles outside right now, mainly across uh, eastern Massachusetts, uh, indirectly due in part to the uh, storm, which is now uh, well offshore, some extra clouds. Uh, I do expect the clouds to be uh, thinning out uh, during the evening hours and overnight. The storm is now uh, south of uh, Halifax, Nova Scotia, and the track since last night uh, pretty much in this direction and really a number of factors to look at as to why things did not play out. You can certainly go to our blog at WPRI.com. I know Pete put, put the, and the weather team putting something together about explaining how uh, why all this panned out the way it did. But one uh, simple fact was that the storm was just slightly further offshore. Boy, that makes all the difference in the world. When you take a look at the uh, where the maximum snowfall occurred, where the worst of the storm occurred, it was clearly uh, just offshore from roughly south and west of uh, Block Island through uh, Long Island, New York, Long Island Sound, and out towards uh, New York City. And what a difference a mere 50-mile shift in the track makes as far as where the heavy snow occurred. And you can clearly see that a foot or more across Long Island out towards New York and even towards uh, coastal Connecticut by a mere 60 miles from the Rhode Island coastline further to the north. The dry air much stronger than anticipated and little to no accumulation. So that storm, it continues to pull away, but we're still getting some clouds right now. Maybe an early evening sprinkle, but the trend will be for gradual clearing, breezy and chilly. Looking at a temperature by 11 o'clock coming in at uh, 35 degrees. We'll take a look at the weekend, see how that plays out. The full forecast coming up in 10 minutes.